Hello, and welcome back to Cats of CT Tutorial. Um, we're still doing it, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, in this video I'll be teaching you how to make the road for the track. Which is, the track I'll be doing is N64 Mario Raceway, which I grabbed an image off of on Google. And then, but you can draw your own layouts if you're making an original custom track. This is just the Royal Race one, one actually. There's a better one somewhere. So, we should get started. Let me really quickly turn on the key thing. Really quickly, I forgot the name of. Dang it, what was it called again? Screencast. Thank you. Okay. So, you... You're gonna have to get yourself familiar with Blender because Blender is a very complicated tool to work with. Like, it took me a very long time to figure out. So, like, here I would want to hit X to delete this. Or just left click, delete. And then over here you have all your stuff. Like, to add a plane and such, which is what we're gonna be needing. If you go right here, this is how you, like, go around to, like, the thing and such. If you press the Z button, you go on top, and then you can, like, switch directions with these things. So, up here, there's an add image reference, which you're going to be needing to do so you can, um, where is my directory? You're going to need it so you can, um, go into here. And then you can grab your image and voila, it appears. Now, if I if I hit S or use this thing, it will scale it up. I'd recommend using S because it's a lot easier for this. And then G is the move, and then the rotate is R. Just thought I'd put to show you that really quickly before we get going. Okay. So to get into here, you go to object mode, edit mode, or tab. You can press tab two. And then, like, right here, I'm gonna grab this. You just, you can, like, select it with this. And then, press E to extrude. Which will let you, like, do this. And then, remember the, like, rotation scale things I said? You can use them on here as well. <laughs> like this, so... Yeah, you can like basically scale. You can like do this. You can also rotate this and such. And yeah. Okay, let's show the main thing we need to do. So, the th we need to we need to go to this menu right here, modifiers. We need to hit the add modifier button and then add a subdivision surface. Like that. <laughs> and that'll make the road a lot smoother. You could do one or two. I like two, but one is better for less polygonal models. And then you, there's a thing here. Change boundary smooth to keep corners. And then UV smooth to keep corners. I'll, fi I'll tell you that why we're doing that in the moment here. So now if we keep extruding, we can, we can trace the road, basically. What we could do. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'll just show this really quickly. If you, you could skip forward to this time frame ahead if you want to get to the next part of the video. Well, actually there probably will be what is it called? The timestamps. So, yeah. Okay. Here. I've been doing this for years, so I know how to do this stuff. Uh, here. Mario Wasteway is a very easy track to do. So I'll, I'll add some things to it so I can show. This is actually for the CHP7 update. I just wanted to do it so I can get it done with this video. So there's a straight path right here. Which I'm going to turn into a jump. So, so you're going to duplicate this right here. By hitting Shift D. And then... You can duplicate it, and then you can press E to extrude again, basically, is what I'm trying to say. 
do this, and then you can have some jumps in there as well. So yeah, and then now we go on to the boost, not the boost, the next section, which takes place in a little sand pit. Obviously this is Mario Kart 7, so it's not going to probably be that revolutionary, but yeah, it'll still be cool to have an N64 Mario Raceway. Um... I need to figure out what to do for this section right here. So we could go straight through it. Or we could have glide. Actually, I got an idea. Okay. Now we're at the end of the track here, basically. And then we can... So we're gonna do a left click and then select these. Don't select these, that's my bad. You can do control, select it, unselect that, and then grab these four right here and then hit F. F should work perfectly fine for this. And then, yeah, okay. So we need to do a new thing called texturing, which is basically trying to find, ignore the Pablo profile picture. <laughs> um, it's basically to like text, like add like, so like for Mario Kart Wii, for example, if like the road texture, let's say like Mario Circuit, it's, it looks something like this. I'm not gonna use this texture, it's just an example. But this is basically what gets applied onto the onto this surface right here, for example. Okay, I think I got that pretty I think I explained that pretty well. So let's grab Mario Kart 8. I like actually let's use Mario Kart 7 texture. Let's 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 do this instead. Because I like doing this. Mario circuit, and then we're gonna grab a road texture. Obviously, I'm gonna use my image editing tool. So, yeah, you're gonna need, you might need a little bit of experience if you want to add textures and such. But this is just what I do. It's very simple. I just use Paint.net, but there's obviously alternate solutions like Photopea and such. So yeah. All right, let's. So we gotta. We're going to alt select this and then we're going to go down here to the thing that says material. So it's empty, there's nothing here, obviously. And, but now we need to hit new, uh, just my taste, remove the specular stuff. So there's a base color option right here, don't get confused with this thing down here. And then hit image texture, which is the only one that should be used right now. And then hit open, go to your folder and then hit name road now it probably doesn't look like you opened anything but if you hit this button up here and then you go to texture it will show so it'll show it now there's also other stuff for it I can I'll explain later so you're gonna want to create huh let me actually let me do a better example so there's like, if you right click right here, there's a vertical split and a horizontal split. I do vertical split, and then that opens up a second menu, basically. And then you hit this one right here, and it'll go to the UV editor. And then you can grab, like, everything you need from this. And then, okay, so hit A on this, and then hit UV and then reset. I'm pretty sure this option is here. There's a bunch of Blender plugins warning. It's annoying. Then alt click here, select A in the UV editing tab, and then alt E if you have the plugin installed that I talked about in the first video, the UV squares. And then this should create a road basically is what I'm trying to say. It creates the UV map for it, and let me just get this one down. 
while I'm doing this. There. You just gotta scale it up. You could do a scale, scale Y, or just scale it up in like this. So. Yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do. So next I would like to talk about elevation. So if I do GZ right here, I will move this downwards. Actually, you can just you can just move the visibility in the corner up here. So yeah, you can you can do that. And then obviously this track needs a lot of elevation because it's a very it's looking very standard right now. So, if, if you only deselect this, control select, just to deselect it, and then shift select to keep selecting it, keep selecting more. So, if I do G, Z, this will bring it upwards, basically, I'm trying to say. And if you do rotate again, it will rotate the road, like that, for instance. And then, yeah. You can, that, those are my two ways of doing it. You can also just select one edge and do this. Which could be your, very useful at times. Like right here, for instance, I kind of actually like that more. So yeah, and then. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's pretty cool that you can do that. And then, yeah, you gotta, you gotta curve. Or here, I'm not knowing that'd be the best way. I know other CT creators do it a lot better. But yeah. And then you can, like, just transform a lot of sections, for instance. I'm trying to do a better explanation of this than I did in the first video, so give me a warning. A warning, just trying to be good at this. Um, okay. Then I can do this, move that down. Okay. Now we can, um, do this. We can basically just do a lot of stuff with this. And just like rotate it. You, you wouldn't be able to do this in SketchUp, I think. I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't used SketchUp in like five years or something. I, I don't even know how long it's actually been. And then I'll put an underground section right here. <laughs> rotate this. And then BAM! You got your layout. So, to save this file really quickly before you do anything, hit File, Save As, and then it'll just go to a folder. Hit N64 Mario Raceway or whatever folder you have to save it, and then name it, um, of, um, Model 1, which is the first model, your road. And then I'm actually going to save a Model 2, so I don't actually overwrite the next one. And then... You got everything set up. So you're gonna wanna change this in the corner. Instead of changing the color, change the lighting from studio to flat. This will help make it look a lot better. And then you can hit you can hit apply in the corner right here for the subdivision surface if you go to this menu. Or you can you <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. Um, or you can do control A. Like that. And then you got a road. So, about Mario Kart 7 is that it's very reliant on the polygons in the track. Like, for instance, if I wanted to, um, let's say, like, if I wanted to, like, make, like, a Mario Kart 8 level track, I'd have to remake it from scratch. For it to be feasible in this game, like Mar like Mario, like polygons are like the like like the limit you can have and such. 
like it's basically like a limit. Uh, right now, right, triangles it says I am at two thousand, but the limit is around ten k if you do everything properly. I know some tracks have gone above that, but that's besides the point. We don't talk about that. <sighs> okay, next we're gonna do is the grass, which should be pretty easy. Um, we're gonna. We're gonna alt select this, and then control select this, so it deselects that stuff. And then we hit F. Okay. Why are you- who's pinging me at this time? And then we're gonna grab a grass texture from this track. We're gonna name it grass. It's a good texture size, it's from Market 7. You will need a decreased texture size. The highest you should probably go is 512. Oh yeah, actually let me really quickly show this. So, there's a button to add a new material, which will basically create a new, brand new material and such. I'd also recommend naming these. Like that. And then you can open your texture again. Do, I like to do Q projection for this stuff. I know some like to do, like, project from view. But yeah, and then you can create your, like, grass. Like, it's only a tiny amount of it, and it's probably isn't even really that good but yeah there you go next we're gonna do is the hill okay actually I should probably explain this really quickly so if you do a single vertice you can still hit E to extrude or you can actually I don't think that's an option never mind excuse me I'm just just ignore me <laughs> Not ignore me, I'm making the tutorial, but, like, yeah. You can, like, drag these around and such. Like, let me do this. And then, if I- I'm gonna make this, like, a mountaintop, obviously. That's how it is in Mario Raceway. <laughs> um, maybe, like, really quickly. Then we can deselect all of this, and then... That's not the right one, hold on. What the heck did I do? Okay, I, I, I think you have to actually, uh... Have to do that, so... Yeah, that's, that's my bad. I think that's why I wasn't working originally before. And then, if we do that, hit control T. Okay, that's a little bit too high. Um, I'll have to turn that down a notch. Just that is like way too high. There we go. See, even I'm new learning new things, not really, but yeah. <laughs> And then I will do E to extrude the rest of that. And um, if you do shift select on this mode, you can also select all the stuff again. I should have mentioned that actually. You can do that on all modes. I think even um, select mode, which is just, it's not necessary for me, but I know it is necessary for some things. Um, okay. Deselect that, and then you can hit assign to grass. Hit a Q projection. And then voila. <laughs> Let me just really quickly set these higher because they do not look like they it, it fits in. Okay, so let's discuss a something about face or- Oh, okay, actually we don't need to yet. But basically, like, what if I did- like, what if, like, something like this was red, for example? You would have to select all of the meshes right here. And then go to Mesh, Normals, either Recalculate Outside or Flip. Um, it's probably inside. And then, yeah. 
and then that because normals are very important it determines if a thing can be seen by the right way so yeah like if i didn't want the road to appear underground it wouldn't appear underground because it's all red and such so yeah okay i'm losing out of breath i'm gonna have to end this first video soon i think also this is way too close i just realized this um now we're gonna learn about vertex colors how fun <sighs> okay so first we're gonna deselect all of this crap and then deselect all of that and then oops that's the wrong mode vertex paint we're gonna change this so this is so what vertex paint essentially is is like you can color specific parts of the track like like, if I wanted to make this blue, I could. But that's what I'm doing. I'm supposed to go here, change it back to white, and then change this to, like, a darker color. Grab this, and then paint, select, paint, set vertex colors, or shift K. And then, yeah, they'll, if I, like, for example, it'll, it'll be darker right there. That's what I'm going to do for this hill, because it's the easiest way to do it, but, yeah. Okay, what's next? Um, there's some other minor stuff really quickly I, I should probably do. Okay, let me... Okay, so there's a subdivide option as well to, like, do that. And I'll just add another one in the middle right there. Or it can be used to, like, making stuff more high polyer, for instance. Which is, you know, yeah. <laughs> but we don't want that right now, so we're gonna do this. Bam. I should probably actually redo all of this. And then, like, yeah. Like that. Let me just make this, like, not just that wide. And then, yeah, it just works like that. It's very easy to do, very simple. It totally didn't take me five years to figure out how to do that when I originally started. We're going to make the rest of the grass, and then a rock, and then we're going to call it quits for this video. Because I'm getting already tired of this. We're going to do another one right here. Actually, yeah, I'll do another one right here. Um, probably shouldn't- let me just check the face orientation. Okay, it's good. Do another one right there. And then here's, I actually forgot to link this in the last video. I just thought about this, but I'll list it in, I'll list it in this video. Um, I'll actually put it in the description, I guess. And then, so there's a plugin called Hydesito Offset Edges. I actually don't remember what it's called, but it, you could basically like, like make do it make it do that but but i'll choose extrude for this because it's a lot easier right here i didn't realize i forgot that plugin until now i am so sorry <laughs> my bad <laughs> and then we'll make that grass okay cool We'll make another grass part right there. Oh, why did this go so high? Okay. Now we're going to make the sand right here, which, again, I'll grab a texture for that. Um, I'll grab it from... It's a good track. Maka Woohoo probably has a good one. Yeah. Let's use this one. 
name it Stan, so it's instantly recognizable in my folder. I'm not the best one to keep good track of what my textures names are. I'm doing this so wrong right now. Okay. There. Okay. Let's add another material. That is just the sand. Um. Bam. We got sand. That's cool. And awesome. Control T to triangulate it. So it looks actually correct and then we're gonna add another one right here and so we can um, do that again and then we can add more grass to make it more accurate and then we're gonna select all the grass is a material and then use it all the sand and then let's do let's do a project from balance this time just so I get it fully correct scale it up with s and then, yippee, well actually let me scale up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Now, what all that's left is to do is just make like some cliffs here, for instance. I just wanna get this done with one sitting. Um, let me make sure, let me try and get like, the more grass more cause I forgot to do it on some parts. Okay. Uh, you're gonna need to actually go to select mode and deselect that right there because that's gonna cause problems if you don't. Oh, uh, let's deselect all of this. Let's do E. And then gra select all of this using, you know, the same thing we've been using. And then assign it to a specific... We're gonna grab a specific texture. Let me find it. It's in Mario Circuit. I know it is. Yeah, these. We're gonna grab this. I'm not explaining how to edit images. I'm very sorry. I am not explaining that. <laughs> Um, hold on, let me do this. Blocks. Okay, we're gonna grab a new material. Let me name this sand and then name this blocks. Because I did not do the same thing we've been doing. Not the sand, the blocks, I mean. And then Alt-E to get the- actually, no. No, 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 no. Let's do follow active chords, which is just the same thing where you can make multiple edit, like multiple things to figure out what to do. So like, yeah, that worked exactly how I wanted it to as well. And then you can like do a select pawn. Let me actually redo that again so I can show you. So the face solidify this is for like making stuff like caves as well but it's super useful like, there i made that look super easy except for right here i don't know what the heck happened right there but that was the point okay last but not least we're gonna we're gonna add some background details. So like, for instance, let's add a rock right here. My headphones just went off. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. And then we're gonna add a rock texture, which we're just gonna grab this one also from 3DS Mario Circuit. And then image texture again. I don't think I need to explain it 700 times. Uh, let's follow active chords, scale it down, rotate it by 180, 
We got that. Uh, edit this grass. And then we can make like, for instance, let me do this a better way. And then like, bam, we can add like this little hill thing, for instance. Except this right here, I don't know how the hell this happened. If you hear barking, I'm so sorry, that's not even my dogs. Hold on, let's, let me fix this. Oh, it's not even an issue, okay, never mind. UV, cube projection, uh, assign this to grass, for instance, and then, you got that, and, yeah, that's, actually, we could put water here really quickly. Let's put the water here. Mario's thirsty, he needs to drink. <laughs> Water. And then do it Q projection. And then bam. Actually, I, I keep, I, I want to finish the video and then I keep forgetting I have to do some stuff. Awesome. Uh, scale that down. UV, reset. And then uh, you got a few ramps right here, which is very nice. And then, yeah. That's, that's all for today's video. I literally, my throat hurts so bad. Um, <laughs> that thing will be in the description. The, the plugin, the offset plugin, this one. This one right here. And then I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.